As electric vehicles become more and more prominent on our roads and charging capacity is more and more of an issue, Norway has come up with a clever broad solution for its fleet of taxis called an electric city. In the future, it might take in far more vehicles too. The Nordic country has already committed to requiring all new cars sold from 2025 and onwards to be electric and intends to build an entirely emission-free taxi service to assist in its lofty aims. With charging time and efficiency limiting factors for electric commercial vehicles in particular, they'll be doing this by charging the cabs wirelessly through the taxi rank they sit on as the taxis wait to be hired. This saves in several ways. No need to hunt out an available charger, no need to wait separately for a charge and to be hired, and no need to plug in or unplug when a fare arrives, all of which to save precious time in which to earn. In the industry, after all, time is money. Do you agree that the topic is interesting and you don't know what awaits you in the rest of the video? Well, that's how it is with us. Welcome to the Future Lore channel. Make an effort to quickly subscribe to the channel and like the video. Get ready for the sequel because an incredible story awaits you. The question that needs an answer is, how will it charge? The charging process will take place through a process called induction. To facilitate the in-place charging, Charging plates are to be installed under the road where the taxis will park, and a receiver will be located in each taxi. This will allow charging at up to 75 kilowatts entirely without cables. Induction charging works through the principle of electromagnetic induction, whereby an electric charge sent through a thick coil of wire is used to generate an electric current. The force in turn generates an electric current in a second coil some distance away. The process does require that the device to be charged is relatively near to the coil, and so the process is sometimes called near-field charging. As it is not precisely like the connection of a cable, however, this is relatively simple to set up between a taxi and a static location. So long as the positioning of the vehicle is relatively accurate, something that can easily be achieved through normal parking. Naturally, such a process would be of limited green benefit unless the electricity being supplied to the taxis was already from a green source. Electric cars can be much greener than their petroleum equivalent, but only where care is taken that the electrical sources are better for the environment than the petrol it's replacing. Fortunately, Norway has that covered too with the country's ever-mixing of hydro and wind energy, one of the greenest energy supplies in any country in the world, as well as the world's highest rate of electric vehicle ownership. At the heart of the program is a finished clean energy company, Fordham, their charge and drive program. The company is a longtime collaborator with Norway's taxi industry, with a particular focus on the ease of infrastructure, and will be heavily involved in the setup of the earliest part of this. The process is absolutely slow as the digging up of the road for installation outside the main stations also requires all taxis are set up for charging. The taxis will be able to drive up to the charger and a wireless charging session will automatically start. According to Annika Hoffner, the head of the project, this allows the taxis to charge in a place where they would be anyway waiting for new customers. The difference is that they won't be emitting exhaust while waiting. Instead, they will be receiving renewable energy to charge the taxi's battery. While this is simply an early step, Norway is a logical place to take a step towards a wider network as well as its broadly green approach to energy. The Nordic country has also had one of the strongest markets for electric vehicles in the world. The huge infrastructure challenges do mean its everyday use is not on the immediate horizon for now. Norway and its taxi industries might just be the perfect testing ground. The country already has the highest rate of electric vehicles in the world, and its relatively small population allows for changes like this to be made fairly quickly and unobtrusively. Also, Norway is not the home of a single automotive company likely to lobby against the changes, and so is free to put in place all kinds of benefits for switching to electric without any excessive lobbying or economic pressure. Benefits for electric car use so far have included free or discounted road tolls, parking, charging points, and the tax exemptions. The number of purchased cars that are electric is closing in on half of all new vehicles in the country, so the process is well underway. However, we must also say that many years before Norway, France tried something similar. Renault began looking at the idea way back in 2012, creating a route on the outskirts of Paris that enabled the ongoing charging of two of their Kangoo electric vehicles as they drove, 
while the main aim is a kind of grazing charging adding to the battery between larger charges. This could in theory allow indefinite driving, especially perhaps in combination with self-driving car technology. In practice, the bigger benefits are on the green energy side, as well as potentially allowing both greater ranges and small batteries in the future electric cars. Major car firms like Jaguar and Land Rover are also stepping up to the plate. The very first step is expected to be active in 2023 and will involve the installation of charging stations at the taxi rank outside the main station in the capital city of Oslo. It seems that Norway will significantly influence the rest of the world to join this plan and thus affect the protection of their environment. Okay, we've talked a lot, so we're going to let you talk a little. Please leave your opinions, suggestions, or whatever you want in the comments section below. Rest assured that we will read everything, so feel free. If you enjoyed the video, press like. Also press the bell to never miss more videos like this one. Subscribe to our channel and share the video. Thank you for your attention. We'll meet you again soon. Have a nice day.